First told you about a COVID-19 outbreak at the Heritage Park Healthcare and Rehabilitative Services on Monday. At that time, there were 23 confirmed cases. Now ABC4 News has learned that very same day, the facility lost a resident to the virus. The family tells ABC4 News investigator Jason Wynn they knew something was wrong. We've seen it on my mom. She's gone. Yeah, and so fast. So fast. So Not fast. even a week. You know, it's Not so even deadly. a week. It's just so deadly. Chrissy Justice and Jean Brown lost their 85-year-old mother, Afton Krupa, to COVID-19 on Monday. For 32 years, Krupa worked on the Hill Air Force Base, but she spent her final years at Heritage Park Healthcare and Rehabilitative Services. Now, she loved everybody. I mean, she was just so generous to a fault to anybody that needed something. Chrissy says she knew something was wrong when she visited her mom on May 4th, and her mother couldn't hold the phone or talk. I could just barely make out that she, want, that she wanted me to bring her great-grandkids to see her. She wondered if her mom could have COVID-19. Her fears came true that Wednesday, just two days later, with a phone call from staff. Basically what she said is they, she was asymptomatic, so there was like no problem, is the feeling I got. Come Thursday, the daughters say their mother was hospitalized with a fever. Three days later, just a week after Christie's visit, the daughters learned... They only had a few minutes to say goodbye in person. By Monday at 10.55, she had passed at McKay Hospital. The guy, the little male nurse told me, he says, I won't let her die alone. And he sat with her and called me after she passed. The family says administrators did not do enough to protect their mother from COVID-19 and told them that she was doing just fine. They didn't, they didn't protect her. That's what they were supposed to do. They didn't do it. In an email, Administrator Jeff Fletcher told me, losing a member of our community is painful and challenging, and we wish the family strength and grace in these difficult times. I also want to reiterate that we remain fully focused on managing the spread of the virus at the facility, and we are wholly committed to the health and well-being of the residents that we have the privilege of serving. In less than seven days, COVID-19 took Afton Krupa's life. As family members work on funeral arrangements, they are asking other Utahns to follow the recommendations from Utah's health officials. I know everybody's sick and tired of it. There's no more, no more sick and tired of it than we are. But look at the results if you don't. In Weber County, I'm Jason Wynn, ABC4 News. We did contact the Weber Morgan Health Department for updated COVID-19 testing results from the facility, but officials say they will no longer provide outbreak-specific case counts.